welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swoosh that I'm doing a Golden Gap course earnings season special. Class for this coming weekend is full, so I'm doing a second class, uh, which is at the end of April, beginning of May, because earnings season is such a busy time. People want to learn, they want to trade, they want to get involved. So I'm doing a special for people that want to get started. You can start and join the trading room right now and trade before the class, or you can wait till after the class. It's up to you, but you could be an active participant. I'm giving one year free of the trading room with the Golden Gap course if you sign up by Friday, April 8th. And again, the class is going to be April 30th and May 1st. So you have plenty of time to plan. Earnings season begins next week. Very excited about that. Looking forward to it. I don't think the volatility in the market is over by a long shot. So it'll be really interesting to see where we go into the beginning of April. If you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can also call me. I answer the phone when I can, if I'm not busy or on TV. Uh, or if not, you can leave a message. I will call you back, 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So our next season is here in one week. This was Twitter. Uh, we did this today. It was not an earnings season gap. Sort of looks like it though, doesn't it? You have gaps, a lot of gaps in earnings season. Why? Because you have volatility, momentum, and everybody that's in the stock that's long, that's short, they're watching what to see what happens on the earnings. Are they good? Are they bad? I don't read the fundamentals. I look at the gap. But again, let's take a look at this, which was a news gap on Twitter. Down in here is where it closed on Friday. Snug as a bug, right in here, then poof. It opened up this morning way above, like almost $10 above where it closed on Friday. This is a bullish gap. Okay, this is a bullish gap, but it really does kind of look like an earnings gap because it's so predominant. And the stock did rally today. It actually got bought. I did not look up when the earnings are for this, not for quite a while. This usually reports in the middle of the end of earnings season. But again, lots of volume in it today. Volume's down here at the bottom. Why? Because everyone was watching to see what's going on. This is what an earnings season gap sort of looks like, where you have tons of volume and momentum, big momentum. And that's what we want to see in earnings season. And that's what we want to see as individual traders to, of course, make money. You know, you can't really make any money if the stock doesn't move. And I don't like to scout things. I like to get momentum. I call it a money move. You take it, you get in, you get the move, you get out, you chunk it, you chunk it out. So that's what we're looking to do every single solitary day. If you'd like more information and you want to sign up for the Golden Gap Course Earnings Season Special, you can email me. Normal class tuition is $69.99, so this is huge. Because normally, if you want to sign up for the room, there's a fee on top of that, or $500 a month, or four grand a year. So this is nice to get an entire year free. So this is all of the rest of this year, 2022, and then into next year, 2023. So for example, if you sign up today, April 4th, you would have the trading room free until April 4th, 2023. So that's a long time to get all the trades and all the calls. The class is April 30th and May 1st. You'll be signing up for that course. Again, it's at the end of this calendar month. You must email me for the forms to sign up. And again, if you have questions, you can always email me or call me as well. So it's spring, it's officially spring, even though it doesn't feel like it in New York, it's super duper cold here right now. We're having a cold spell, but that's usually how spring is. Some days are warm, some days are cold, but it's a nice time to trade because a lot of people are involved in the market. People are not off on vacations like they are during the summer. So again, you have volume in the market and we look for volume in the things that we trade. I don't trade low float stocks or penny stocks or cheap stocks that don't have any volume. We want to be able to get in and get out. And again, we want the momentum, okay? So earnings season is here in one week. This is a clip chart here of the QQQs. Nice move up for the Qs today. We'll see if it goes anywhere higher. Again, this has been since the beginning of this year, and it's been a choppy year for the market. We have not made a brand new all-time high at all this year. This is the longest the market in the QQQs has gone without making a new high since, I think, since the 2016 election, for sure. I even have to go back to see how far back past that. We have had a big sell-off to start out the year 2022. Now, are we going to turn it around? It remains to be seen. Again, earnings season, if we're going to do it, it could be an earnings season because we could have some good earnings and some stocks that turn the market around, or it could collapse because there's stocks in the market that affect the overall market. Now, if you're a beginner, if you're new, if you've never traded before in your life, you will learn nuts to bolts, how I set up my charts, candlesticks, all of those things in the class. So it's okay if you're new. You can take it slow. That, again, is why the support of the live trading room is so beneficial, especially having one year free if you're a beginner to get the support to get the live calls 
right after the class. And again, you could start and watch and observe before the class too. It's okay to be a beginner. It's okay to learn something new. I think it's exciting to learn new things. And even if you've been training for 30 years, you don't know what I know about gaps, so you will come and learn what I know from me. So it's all gonna be new to you. And in a sense, then everyone is a beginner because they don't understand or look at gaps and analyze gaps and rate gaps the way that I do. And that's the point of coming and learning in the class. Now, this was a gap we did again. This was a nice one here. Stop close here, gap down, fell, CVS. Okay, this was, uh, we did this March 29th. This was a day trade I called in the room. It was 3.30. Entry was 105.55. Shares, this is an advanced risk, 3,500. Risk was 29.75. We did an ad close to the price, really, really close. Big size in this. Again, this is on margin. Okay, so you don't need the cash equivalent of this. You could have done 100 shares. You could have done 500 shares and then did an ad for 500 and had 1,000 shares. Either way, it was a really good exit and a really nice drop. We shorted this. I'll go back to the chart in a minute. Exit was 104.10. And again, this is a move. This is what we're looking for. This is momentum. Buck 50, get the drop, get out. Profit was 10,080. Really good profit on this. This I don't even remember where I found this, actually. Uh, when I was scanning and finding this, we didn't get in this super duper early, even though I normally do. We got in it down in here. And then it got a nice drop, boom. So I was very happy to find this on this particular day. But again, your sizing should be based on what? The size of your cash, size of your account. I don't think $100 is crazy expensive when we sometimes do margin trades in the market, like the Qs. But this is, this is you know, not cheap by any means. We do things in a price range, could be $20, $50, $30, could be $100, could be the market. Like I said, could be over $300. If you want to do an option in something like that, you can. But this is a day trade. A day trade, I call day trades live in the room, and you could do them on margin. Some people are doing small size. Some people are doing large size. I know some people are doing the expensive one as options, but that's up to you. That's up to you, okay? And again, your sizing should be the same or similar in every trade you take as close as you can get it. This is not an exact science, but you can't take two trades and risk 3,001 and 500 and another. Your, your results are gonna be all over the place, okay? So either way, your goal should always be to make money. Now, do I make money in every trade? No, some trades I lose in, but I win in more trades than I lose, and that's the goal. I don't go into a trade like CVS or anything that I do with even thinking that I'm gonna lose. I take calculated risk where I put in a stop, Okay, like the CBS had a stop in it. If it would have stopped me, I would have got stopped out and lost in it. It didn't. The trade went on to work. But the idea is that I believe and have conviction that every trade will work. I think a lot of people that trade the market don't even think it's possible that they can be successful. They go in and take trades with a 50-50 crapshoot thinking that they could lose. I don't go into my trades like that. Again, this has nothing to do with sizing. It has to do with the fact that you have to believe that you can actually do it. And so many people don't. And yet they trade and risk money in the market for years and years and years and years and years. And longer than I'm alive, I don't understand how people can get up every day and risk money trading when they have such a negative attitude. Having a positive attitude is part of it. It's part of the reason for my own success. I've always believed in myself. And I do the best I can to encourage people to believe in themselves too. If you want to work for yourself, if you want to have financial freedom, it is possible by actively trading the market. We trade in the morning, the trading rooms open in the morning early. We usually open the room about 8.30 and trade between 9.30 and 10. Sometimes some trades will go on later. CVS was a little bit of a later trade. That's not a daily occurrence though, to be honest with you. Now, as far as focus, what am I focused on? I'm focused on the gap. I'm focused on the gap. So many traders are just focused on making money. While you do need to be focused on making money, if you don't have a strategy or system to back it up, to get the profits, to get the money, to come to you, to know what direction to take the trade. It's gonna be hard for you to be profitable. So my focus is my strategy, the golden gap. That's what you learn in the class, the golden gap course. And that's how you go on then after that to make money and be successful. But the open part of the day is the most important part of the day, in my opinion, to determine the directional bias for the market, for the stock. And specifically, again, we're looking at gaps. Now, I created a checklist for myself. It's called the Golden Gap Checklist. I did this for no one but myself when I first started trading. Then I ended up developing a system and people encouraged me to teach other people and start a business. And it really kind of went like that because I was talking to friends and teaching some of my friends things and they saw that I had a really good pick. So here we have basically the checklist, which you will learn in the class to go through its 26 points. 
You go through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You will rate the gap each and every day that you decide to train. If the gap rates 20 points or more, you will take it in the direction of the gap. I focus on shorts. Why? Because I'm mostly shorting in the trading room. Sometimes we go long, but we mostly short. So the class is a class on gaps and rating professional bearish gaps. Again, that is mostly what we do. And the irony is we made money shorting lots of things in a bullish market. When we had the sell at the beginning of this year in 2022, though, we really raked it in. It was a great start to this year. And it remains to be seen where we go, like I said, till the rest of the year. But I created my system in a bullish market, so it works in any market conditions because we're looking for specific, specific setup. And that is, again, what you will learn in the class. So if you'd like to sign up, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. The class is April 30th and May 1st, 9 to 5. Gives you plenty of time to plan, almost a month. Class tuition is $69.99. That is always a tuition. Everyone pays the same. The nice thing about this, though, is that this earnings season special allows you the free one year in the room. It is the rest of the calendar year 2022 and into 2023. Trust me, that is a very, very long time. And again, the room is open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Don't miss out on this offer. It's good through Friday. It gives you plenty of time to think about it. April 8th, you must email me for sign-up forms. And if you have questions, you can also email me as well. Have a great day, everyone.